Welcome to another thrilling episode of Cooking with Sky and myself. And uh, today we are cooking my favorite sort of custom recipe. This is really, I believe, the only custom recipe that I have personally created. Seriously, I didn't look this up online. I just experimented when I was younger in regards to cooking. And I came up with this. So we are making scrambled eggs. Very easy to make, very quick, uh, fast, uh, very filling, lots of protein, and just uh, overall a very excellent uh, sort of meal. So what I'll lay down in front of me are kind of what we need. We need a pan. Uh, I'll have to grab the spatula in a sec. And of course, eggs. Uh, I would suggest two or three. Uh, usually I do four if I'm very hungry. Today I'm not as hungry as I usually am. So I'm going to be doing three eggs and that will give a great filling for one individual. Uh, double if you want two, maybe one and a half uh, times servings if you are doing two people, so five eggs or something like that. And just scale based on how big your particular party is for your eating. Uh, artificial vanilla, or I guess if you have real vanilla or whatever, the equivalent. And some shredded cheese, Costco Kirkland. Always a good selection, or any sort of shredded cheese, just for a little bit of extra flavor and taste to it. And again, that's also what the vanilla is for as we begin making this. So we're gonna transfer over and then we're gonna actually begin the cooking. So again, pan, we're gonna have to be able to cut it up, move it around and scramble it because that's how scrambled eggs work. And it's very simple, we're gonna dive into this. I will mention that the second half of the video, we're gonna be making a drink recipe. So for the first half of these will be food, the second half will be a drink mixture. Just to kind of spice it up and uh, have some fun with it. All right, now we switch to the more dynamic angle. You can clearly see what we're gonna be cooking here and the ingredients to the side. So we start, uh, you can either kind of turn it just before high, I like to do, but I'm gonna crack the eggs first just because it's easier to get rid of any of the shells when I do break them and screw up, which does happen. I always have the garbage kind of open because it can get a little bit messy with the eggs. So again, we're doing three of them. Pretty easy to crack the eggs if you've never done it. Anyone can do it, because even I can do it, and I'm not great at doing that kind of thing. So I take the final one, kind of smash it over the ledge, you'll see a crack, and then I like to just push in there. Or you can hit it a couple times, depending on how good your crack is. And uh, wow, actually a flawless, no shells in there. That's pretty good. I'm gonna quickly just wash my hands. Yes, I'm not too professional or insane, but that's quite all right by me. So you got our eggs in here, and then we're gonna take this, and we're just gonna kinda like mash them up. I like to get it so it's more of like a yellowy liquid. There we go, looking good. And once that's kinda mixed up, we're gonna close our eggs up, put those to the side, and we're gonna add in a little bit of vanilla. So yeah, we've got it up to about, I don't know, 85% on the high, you can go higher. It's just a fast, insane cook. Uh, that's how I kind of go. So for the uh, vanilla, I don't really do like an intense measure, measuring for this one, but you know, maybe like a little, little bit, a little, little dab in there. So just like, just a little bit. Yeah, just so you can kind of see it kind of being mixed in on the edge. You know, use your own judgment or be professional and use an actual measurement. And then we're just gonna mix it in there. You won't really see it, but you will taste it when we're actually going in and eating this because it does give it a sort of uh, a sweet flavor to it. And we're just gonna mix that right in there so you can't see it. Uh, at this point, uh, it's still kind of heating up. Usually I have it cooking while I'm cracking the eggs, but I wanna be safe and professional when doing this. Uh, we're gonna start seeing that it's gonna start sticking to the bottom of the pan. It's gonna do that in a sec, but now we're gonna add the cheese. So the cheese is just like another layer of like texturing and everything. I use the pre-sprinkled, I guess you could cut it up yourself or whatever. And we're just gonna put it in there. Really, you put as much cheese as you want, but I like to visibly be able to see that there's cheese on every side of this. It all gets mixed together anyways, but I like to have that cheesy element to the actual eggs. And this is gonna actually taste really good. I've had nothing but uh, positive feedback in regards to uh, this particular dish that we are creating today. And yes, it's gonna start Heating up, it's it's starting to get that kind of thing going where it's sticking to the bottom. It's, I think that's the right term for that. And this is when things start uh, heating up mostly. 
Now we're just gonna keep mixing it around, kind of getting the gob so that they're not stuck there. Make sure it is over the actual heating element. At this point, I'm just gonna leave it for a sec. And I'm gonna put things away because that gives it a second to kind of heat up. Again, going back to it, seeing that it is getting that stick going here, and this is how we're gonna scramble them. And I mean, everybody kind of scrambles eggs, I guess, a little bit differently. I like to just kind of mash it and get the gobs going into smaller pieces because I find that better for eating afterwards. But we'll see how it goes here. Again, just kind of like getting it together, getting it gobbing up, and then it's gonna start sticking up. We're really gonna have to be paying attention here, but we're quickly gonna put the vanilla away. Because why not, right? Good. So at this point, you can actually see that it is sticking up. And this is, again, pretty fast to cook. You're seeing this like live, I would assume so. I don't think I'm gonna have to cut it down. Uh, and it's just really delicious, good snack. We're just gonna keep going because we want it to not be liquid. So it's quite liquidy at this point. Some of it is getting a little bit more solid. It's coming together. You can see that here. Again, use safety when you're cooking too, if you are following this. I mean, I guess I shouldn't need to say that, but it doesn't hurt too. And you can see it kind of gobbing up there. It's good. It's still, uh, a lot of it's still quite liquidy, still gooey. Just want to make sure that everything is being moved around so it's not sticking too much in one spot. And uh, yeah, it's coming together nicely here. Just kind of move it around like I do. Or, you know, kind of scramble it in your own way. I'm not going to tell you what you're supposed to do when it comes to cooking because I'm not an expert or anything. And uh, yeah, this is kind of the effort and the, uh, the max kind of quantity I do when it comes to intense cooking efforts. I know this is kind of amazing, isn't it? You're like, wow, look at these eggs. It doesn't seem like a lot, but it's actually going to be rather filling, or at least it usually is for me. Again, adding that fourth one if you are actually wanting a really filling meal. I'm probably going to eat dinner <laughs> not too long after this, so this is going to be a high calorie day for me, for sure. So again, kind of mixing it up, we're just going to let it sit for a second here, just so it kind of gets that sizzling in at the bottom, so it starts cooking. Again, I'm just moving it around a lot, because that's the style I go for. And then we're going to kind of flip it, and then mash it up again, seeing how it actually is um, starting to cook. So it's going to have uh, like a yellow kind of look to it. You can cook it as long as you want. I don't know how well done you like your eggs. Kind of squishing it uh, ideally we don't want any of the liquid on the inside of it we don't want it to be gooey but we don't want it to be too cooked at the same time because then you're losing a lot of the flavoring at least in my opinion on this one at this point i'm just going to rest it for a second and i'm going to get out a plate because i'm going to be eating this There we go. I actually consider it, in my opinion, done at this point. This is how I eat it. And uh, yeah, that's basically the scrambled eggs. Take it off, take the mix, push it down into the plate safely, remembering that the heating element is to your right. And that's gonna be a lot of stuff to scrape after. I mean, obviously some of you more professional people will put something in the pan afterwards. And there we go, so that's uh, scrambled eggs. So we're taking a closer look at the scrambled eggs. This is kind of what we made out of three eggs with our sort of recipe here. Uh, you can obviously crisp it a bit further. Add ketchup if you'd like for extra flavoring. Uh, I actually find these are good to eat by themselves without any ketchup, at least in my opinion. And I think it looks pretty good. So here we go. Jumping down, grabbing a bit of it. Kind of see it up close so you can see the sense of what the food looks like. Delicious. Seriously, it tastes fantastic. I love it. It's one of my favorite things to cook because I made it and uh, it actually tastes really good. And again, nothing but positive results from friends and everyone I've cooked it for. This is the after dark portion of our cooking slash drink video type setup. Uh, I had originally wanted to make an absolute stress, but somehow we are out of cranberries because I have no idea who drinks that. So we're going for an easier drink, very lazy, uh, very simple to make. This is the Lounging Lizard. Uh, you need good old Coca-Cola. Well, I mean, you could do Pepsi, but yeah. I don't know, I guess if that's your thing. Uh, rum, you can put, I think it's just spiced rum in this is fine. So we're using the Kraken, because I like it. And you need Amaretto, which we are using. Misorino! Yeah, so that's 
interesting. Uh, yeah, and then we're gonna have a mixer thing. I don't actually believe you need to use the cool fancy mixer thing to make this, but uh, I mean, that is entirely up to you. And a glass to put it in. So we're gonna start with the uh, kind of interior thing here. We're gonna throw some ice in that. So now I've got ice, and then it calls for one liquid ounce, which is this kind of part of the shot thing right in the middle of each. Let's start with the rum. Nice and easy to pour and add that into the, uh, the shot glass here. And yes, Kraken is definitely my sort of rum of choice. Nice, one liquid ounce. Throw that in here. Then we're gonna close this off. Put that back in here. And then we're gonna add amaretto. Yes, this is a product table. Another liquid ounce. As you can see, throw it in there. Nice and easy. Close this one off again. It's just good not to have everything spilling around, if you know what I mean. And we're going to close off the uh, top here. Making sure it's secure. So you don't want stuff coming flying out. And the top two. And then we're going to mix. as long as you want, it's pretty good. Then we're gonna take off the top, strain it out into the glass. And that is the kind of mixture that we're going to be seeing here. Again, put in as little as much as you want. Add Coke, hopefully cold Coke, because I've got a warm one here. And uh, yeah, drink responsibly. Well, make sure the fuzzes and everything's gone. Uh, usually we use higher glasses because it can be very concentrated. So just for the purpose of this one that I am making it a very hardcore intense sort of drink. Again, mix safely with, uh, you know, as much mix as you need, adding the Coke in afterwards. And it's a lounging sort of lizard. Uh, you can add a straw too. I've got straws here, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Alternatively, you can put the mix in and then add ice and coke and whatever you'd like. This is just the setup that I did for it. And give it a whirl. Very good. Very straight, easygoing taste. I quite enjoy it. I don't have any issues with it. And I think it's a really nice sort of beverage to have on a regular day, games night, or any other situation. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know what you'd like to see perhaps cooked or drink mixed in the future if you'd like to see more of these. And I hope you enjoyed.